burying bone when they give her bones she doesn't eat them she just takes them outside and buries them so gentle i think it's cute when she does this she's like so tender with her like hiding food and it provides an activity for her but i have to be ready with the wet wipes because her mouth her nose her paws are so muddy or maybe I'll just take her for a walk right now. I won't even let her inside. Oh. Good morning. With Yuri. Might hear some Canadian geese in the background. I'm 30. I woke up this morning, 30 years old. I decided to come for a little solo walk, or I guess I brought Yuri. I was called to get some sun in my eyes this morning because I haven't been sleeping very well lately. And I think it's related to the amount of sun exposure I get in the morning. Wanted to get some sun in my eyes. Wanted to take a little walk with my new 30 year old self and feeling good. Oh, I've got a little bit of tension in my chest. I don't think it's related to being 30. I think it's just the fact that I'm having to pack up and leave again. And I've done a lot of packing up and leaving lately. <laughs> There's a lot of things that need to get in order before I go to Egypt in two days, so a little bit of pressure there, but feels good to be 30. I'm just going to be present all day and enjoy the day. Just the two of us. Just the two of us.
Okay, so three vets told me to put this cat to sleep. Three. Look at him. Best friends. Oh, she's just Best friends. Just another mom. <laughs> oh my god. He actually just cleared that, grabbed this, and broke it. I'm proud of us, guys. House is clean well not clean empty now it gets cleaned If you want to handle your triggers, the first thing you need to do is to be able to see your triggers. And how you see your triggers is by creating enough space between your awareness perceiving and then your mind operating. Like it's almost on a loop. It's kind of like when I rewatch my vlogs back again and I say the same things right before myself in the video says them. You know, it's like same input creates same output. And so when we observe the record that's playing and we're like, oh wait, <laughs> I see this now. So that's the first step is just seeing and understanding your triggers and feeling it in your body too is another good way is like if you're connected to how you're feeling, the way that it flows in and flows out, like you'll notice when you're holding tension and you're getting antsy, like you can feel a trigger. And this is going to be such a simple way, but the way that I handle them now is by breathing. The most important part is observing them and noticing them. And so it's like, you're like, whoa, I'm getting triggered. And then I just come back to the moment and I do a little bit of like a zoom out and I observe my body and myself in the situation and I can kind of see what the inputs are, what my desired triggered output is. And then I try and take three deep belly breaths. So it's just like breathing as much as you can, pushing your stomach out, letting that in, coming back in, out, in, out, in, and then reacting oppositely to your trigger. That's like my best go-to because oftentimes we don't always have the tools and the answers or the role models of people who are gonna be like, this is right and this is wrong and this is how you should act. And so when we're getting triggered, oftentimes the trigger reaction is not healthy. <laughs> I think we can all relate to that. And we're pretty good as humans at finding the opposite. So like, what's at least the opposite of that reaction? So it's like, when I want to push you away, when I want to recluse, when I want to hide, when I want to just turn off everything and shave my head. <laughs> Instead, I hug you. Even if I just want to fucking bite you while I'm there. I'm hugging you and I'm telling you, instead of saying, I want I don't want to see you. I'm saying, I love you and I accept you. And I'm saying this, I love you and I accept you to myself too, because I'm allowing myself to be triggered. And then you just hold them and then you put a hair mask in after. And I've, I've learned especially like so much of our triggers is around this baggage that we're carrying and it's just exhausting holding on to it all the time and you're like look at my baggage my life is so hard <laughs> you're like yeah you're pissing me off because i got all this baggage look at my baggage look at all the times that you did the thing and it's exhausting and so i just have this like my sister gave this visualization to me yesterday actually where it's just like you just walk and you just let go of the bags you let go put the luggage behind you and you just keep walking
You don't have to go do ayahuasca. You know, you don't necessarily have to see a therapist. You don't need to go and like meditate every day. It's just the choice and the intention to say like, I'm not going to be ruled by the past anymore. I accept myself and all the versions of myself in the past. And I accept myself for having these trigger responses that might have protected me in the past. Or as we're learning now with epigenetics, it's been passed down to me from my mother line. Like this is something that my great grandmother had as a response when she was actually getting physically abused. And so this was an important response for her to have to push away and to recluse and to hide and to become frigid, right? But now I am in a healthy, safe, warm, loving, peaceful life. And those responses are only serving to harm me and the people around me. Outfit of the day. Wearing these Diane von Furstenberg pants, my Adidas, a scarf. This is vintage, 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 new. And then, of course, orange colored sunglasses. Good morning, good morning. I'm still in Cairo and I'm gonna try and make friends with the cats. As I said, cats and looked at them, they ran away. Dara's ice cream. This was recommended to me by someone, I think in the airport. I'm trying to remember who recommended it to me. And that's where I got dropped off today. I'm gonna go see Sherry and Sabrina. I forgot to get off at my floor. Damn it. I didn't get off on my floor and it just went right back down. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this place. Okay, and then I can just push the door. Oh wow, here we go. It's a good boy. Lazy little smile. Oh no. Oh. You're so cute. How's your day? <laughs> Driving downtown in Cairo. Sabrina around on her day today. We are at one of the oldest, if not the oldest, cinemas in uh, Egypt, in Cairo, and they've set it up to do a display. Um, Hal, I don't know if I'm saying that right, they have made carpets for the last 150 years, and the son is inheriting the company. So he got a bunch of artists from the Middle East to design carpets and using the same handmade, hand dyed processes that they've used for 150 years on more traditional styles. They've taken it now and <laughs> made these beautiful pieces of work. It's incredible. I'm so glad that I got to come and visit and see how they're setting up and how they're building and talk to people about their process.
I do a vlog, guys, so you knew that there was going to be an Egypt vlog. I'm back here with my gals. <laughs> we just went to the carpet show. How do I describe gonna it? We're going to eat shawarma. And now we're eating shawarma. I got to wear the hat. In insert, insert photo of me wearing the hat. <laughs> that was cool. Get the best part. Yeah. So good. Sabrina's got a big call tomorrow. What's the call about? What are you gonna do? To help the universe. Help the entire cosmos. That's what we're here to do. Kind of a big deal. Add to the world. Add to the world. 